the Santa Clara Valley Water District provides a rebate as well as resources to help you install a gray water laundry landscape system. So let's go inside and look at some of the key features uh, of this legal system. A gray water laundry landscape system is powered completely by a machine that you already have in your home, your clothes washer. And a clothes washer laundry landscape gray water system, you effectively add a switch that you connect your washer line hose to and it allows you to direct your rinse water from your clothes washer's washer line out into your landscape instead of just in the sewer. So to get the water from your clothes washer to your landscape, you can actually keep the three-way valve directed to the landscape for most of the year. You wanna move it to the sewer whenever you use bleach or soaps that have a lot of salt or boron in them. Um, or when it's been raining, especially between November and March. Um, otherwise, in the summer, and if you don't use bleach, and you have plant-friendly, environmentally friendly soaps, you can keep to the landscape, just keep an eye on your plants and how well you're maintaining your system. Let's go outside and see. So now we're outside. The clothes washer's gray water, instead of moving into the sewer to be treated at your local wastewater treatment plant, it's coming out through this pipe that's been properly sealed down into the soil, and we can follow this path to the valve boxes, which are uh, sitting within these mulch basins. Mulch basins are effectively just trenches that are dug six to 12 inches deep and filled with mulch. The mulch acts as the in-ground filter to remove and break down any hair or lint that has made it past the washer line and the valve box into your landscape. So over time, the mulch will break down in a nice environmentally friendly compost. Let's look at these exposed pipes over here. As you can see, the pipe uh, effectively has, you know, a more or less straight or slightly curved path between the clothes washer system and where the gray water would be distributed. The valve box is at the drip line of the tree it's irrigating. That helps prevent the roots from being inundated with water, but also provides a sufficiently close location uh, for the gray water to be distributed uh, to allow it to infiltrate into the soil over time. There's the ball valve that you can use to control the amount of water that goes to each tree. So because different plants have different water requirements and water needs, you can use ball valves or how you orient the piping to influence which trees and which plants in your landscape get more or less water throughout the season. It's extremely important to have the last valve box have an open pipe because if any hair or lint or other materials that could potentially, potentially clog your gray water system moves out of your washer line, it has an exit route since this last valve box has that same diameter as the washer line itself. We want to encourage people to install gray water systems because they're sustainable, they're potentially low cost, and they provide drought resiliency to your landscape. You're doing laundry throughout the year, whether there's a drought or not, and making sure that you have a type of system in your landscape so that you can provide irrigation water throughout the year can be very beneficial. Also for a laundry to landscape gray water system, because it's powered by the clothes washer itself, you need very minimal additional equipment. In this case, any filtering of the gray water is done by the mulch basin using natural processes, and the water is moved through the system using the clothes washer's pump and gravity. If you want to learn more about how to install a gray water system or how to install other types of gray water systems, check out watersavings.org where you can navigate to various gray water resources, uh, manuals, and also how-to videos that can help you install a legal gray water system.